What is up you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time seeing my tiny hands and planner on the internet, my name is Finn. I run this planner YouTube channel and the Instagram account that goes with it, Finn Plans. And this week I am planning for the week of Hamill film. I have the dates covered so I can't tell when it is, but it's the week of July 3rd and I didn't want to use a 4th of July kit this year because I didn't feel very patriotic and Hamilton was more important to me because it happened on the week of this plan with me. I cannot talk apparently, but I designed this kit myself and I filmed the first part and then I looked and my footage got deleted. So if you want full close-ups of this spread, go down there and follow me on Instagram. I normally would talk through this part and tell you guys exactly what I'm doing, but we've been doing this for a while and what so instead is I put a poll out on my Instagram and it was like ask me any Hamilton questions for me or things that you guys want to know about the show because I have a Hamilton obsession. It's it's fine. <laughs> um but so if you want to make sure if to go down there and follow my Instagram. The link is down below and it is right here on the screen because I will like ask questions and post stuff and all the fun things. So make sure to go check that out. And so instead of talking you through this though, the foil I use is from Sticky Essentials and it's so great. I hauled it in my recent haul video. So go check that out. It is up here in the card, but without further ado, let's get into the questions. So the first question is, well, who is your favorite Skylar sister? And mine is Eliza. I love her so much. I really identify with her character, and her character is my casting type. My casting type is very much the, like, innocent girl who gets broken in shows. <laughs> so, like, Zoe Murphy and, like, characters like that. That's very much my casting type. Um, let's see. Where was your favorite performance of Hamilton? I have seen Hamilton three times and I loved it so much and I don't think I could pick one. The one thing I could do is I could tell you who my favorite, like, cast member was for each role. So my favorite Hamilton was Miguel Cervantes in Chicago. My favorite Eliza was Shobha Narwan on tour. Um, my favorite Burr was Gregory Treco in Chicago. My favorite Angelica was Montego Glover in Chicago. Um, my favorite Peggy Mariah was, geez, it was Olivia Pickett in, on tour as well. And there are so many more and I will leave a full list in the description if you guys are interested. The next question is, what is your favorite um, visual piece in the show. My favorite dance piece in the entire show, which is a visual thing that you don't get from the soundtrack, is um, Room Where It Happens. I think it's so good. I love the choreography. And it's like very like vaudeville and like kicky, which I like. Um, and I also love, and this is a thing that some people might not have noticed in the show, if you um, look in the balcony, Eliza is always on stage. She gets a tiny break in Battle of Yorktown, but she normally sits on stage in the top risers. So take a look out for that. Um, the next question is, when did you see it and how did you first hear about it? I first heard about it. I got in the car on my way home from school and my dad was like, have you heard of this thing? And he said Hamilton. And I, I had like heard of it a little bit. Like I had heard the name and I had heard like one song, but he like turned it on and I was immediately intrigued. So I will credit my dad for the introduction of Hamilton into like, I, I don't know, into my life. That sounds kind of weird, but I have loved the show ever since. I have a deep, deep obsession. I annoyed the crap out of my friends in middle school 
talking about Hamilton all the time. And if any of you guys are watching this, any of my middle school friends who I annoyed every day talking about it, leave a comment below because I would like to hear about that. My eighth grade and my senior quote this year are Hamilton quotes. I made a Hamilton shirt for a volleyball game. Like, I am obsessed and it's so sad. I first saw it in Chicago on December 29th, 2018. And it was a Christmas present from my grandma and I was so excited about it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I love this show so much. Um, what word makes you cry the most? The word that makes me cry the most in Hamilton is forgiveness. When they say forgiveness in It's Quiet Uptown, it gets me every time. But to be fair, I cry basically the entire show, so that's not weird at all. Um, which song stands out to you the most? I don't know. That's a, that's a really good question. My favorite song to sing is That Would Be Enough which is Eliza's solo song in Act 1 that she sings to Hamilton when she tells him that she is pregnant. It's my favorite song in almost the entire show. I think it's so good. From a choreography standpoint, Room Where It Happens is always up there. Um, Helpless and Satisfied, I am, like, enthralled by how Andy and, like, the whole team figured out how to, like, make it opposite, and I love, like, all of those, like, little details about the turntable. Um, what was one Hamilton fact you knew before Hamilton movie? I felt so accomplished because before the movie, I knew the storyline of the bullet, and then it was everywhere after the movie came out. And I felt so happy. I was like, I knew this the whole time. And I think if you know that about that specific character, who in the original Broadway cast is played by Ariana DeBose, the incredible Ariana DeBose, who is going to be in the West Side Story remake later this year and in so much other stuff. So go check her out. because She's amazing. But I was so happy to see that people made that connection. Because they talked about it a little bit in the book, and they talked about it, like, in interviews and a whole bunch of other, like, cool stuff that if you're, like, an extreme Hamilton fan, you would have picked up. But if you aren't, it would have been, like, it's obscure interviews on, like, I don't know. But I felt really, really proud that I knew about it before. Um... What is your favorite lyric and why? My favorite lyric in Hamilton is, you have no control who lives, who dies, who tells your story. And that was my eighth grade quote in my yearbook in middle school. And I wrote that as my quote, and everyone kept coming up to me and being like, that's really, really morbid. That's like, why are you talking about death in an eighth grade yearbook? But I always looked at it as, you have to be kind to people and make a good impression on people and that kindness like helps people remember you better and that was so like important to me and I think the you have no control part is that you don't know who's going to tell your story you don't know if it's going to be a person walking on the street you don't know if it's going to be your best friend you don't know if it's going to be your parents you don't know who's going to be around after you're gone so being kind and courteous to everyone is the most most important thing and um now i need to figure out what my hamilton quote is going to be for my senior quote so in the poll over here i want you guys to vote i have all of the i have like three picked out and then i have a nick cordero quote picked out as well because i looked up to him a lot as an actor and he passed away earlier this year from COVID and so I wanted to like mark that in a place where I would remember it um yeah and so make sure to vote up there because I am so on the fence about this um yeah this kit which I am using which 
if you've been watching, I love this spread so much. I was like, this spread has to be perfect, so I'm adjusting everything all the time. But I made this kit for when I saw Hamilton in December of last year. I've seen Hamilton three times. I saw it once in Chicago and twice on tour. And the two times I saw it on tour, we went, I went with my school. And it was so nice. The Hamilton Education Program is so good. They do such a good job of making theater accessible. And I think that's one of the things that Hamilton does really, really well by putting it on Disney Plus and bringing students to see it and having an accessible lottery at all touring performances and all that kind of stuff. And making theater accessible to people is, I think, one of the most important things we can do right now, especially since we're all at home. And so the way the Hamilton Education Program works, for anyone who's interested, if it comes back after this, which it probably will, um, you write a project or you write a poem or you write a song or a written piece of art, and that is your submission for the project. You have to do a project to be able to go. And so that is your entry, and then it costs $10 to go. At least at my school it did. For some people it's free, but we like took a charter bus and did a whole bunch of other really fun stuff on the trip. And so the tickets are given to students for $10 or less for the tickets, not just for the trip. But And it makes it accessible for students who have never seen a live theater show, who don't have that experience. And when they were doing the Hamilton Education Program at my school, I was so, so happy about it. And I got to go twice. I am one of two students who has gone twice. And it felt kind of cool to be, I hate to say the center of attention, but I'm a theater kid at a health-related school where there aren't arts. And so there aren't very many people like talking about theater. And so I was the one getting asked like questions about stuff and like casting and what tour we were going to see. I've seen both the Phillips and the Angelica tour, which I think is so cool. And I have all the playbills for them in my playbill video, which I plan to film soon. I have a couple more coming in the mail. So I'm waiting for those because I do playbill trading and all that kind of stuff. So I'm waiting for those to come in the mail and then I'm going to film it, which will be fun. Um, yeah, I made this kit using the background of the Hamilton logo and photos from the cast. And I can't like sell it or distribute it to anyone because these photos are copyrighted and all that kind of stuff. But it was for my own personal use and I think it turned out so pretty. I used the Hamilton Mabels from An Actor Plans, which I hauled in the haul video as well. I love Melissa's shop. Melissa has always been so, so nice to me when we've like DM'd and chatted and done stuff in the Facebook group. I've won giveaways on her shop. She's so, so wonderful. And so I love her shop. She had a Hamilton kit for this week that I did not get because I was dumb and didn't grab it in time. So I was like, I'll just use this one that I made for myself. And I think it turned out really good. All of the shops that I used will be linked below as well as on my Instagram at finplans because I know in this video I didn't talk about specifically what I was doing during every day. So there will be a time lapse at the end and it'll also be on my Instagram with all the writing for all the stuff that I did. So if you guys want to check that out, I love this spread so much. So this will be up as soon as this video is up, if not before because I think that the spread is amazing and I love it so much. I put my two Hamilton bookmarks on the side. I'm getting a Peggy one, or I'm gonna make a Peggy one for myself because I also have a red bubble. So if you guys wanna get some stickers designed by me or have any sticker suggestions for like theater quotes or things that you guys would want, please leave them in the comments below. I am running a sticker sale on there right now where I'm doing a Biden sticker 2020, uh, yeah, and where I'm raising money for charities, so go check that out if you are interested. Um, yeah, all of the proceeds from that sale will go to BLM and LGBTQ plus charities like Trevor Project and all that kind of stuff, so go 
check that out. I love this kit. This foil looks so, so good. Um, and here is my standard time lapse at the end. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next week. Bye.